ladies and gentlemen, the Minister of the Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Mr. President, the First Lady, Prime Minister, Your Highness, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, today is a truly historic occasion, a moment of hope and opportunity for all the peoples of the Middle East, and in particular for the millions in our younger generations. The declaration supporting peace between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel is an historic step on the road to genuine and lasting peace, security and prosperity across the region and for all who live there, regardless of religion, sect, ethnicity or ideology. For too long, the Middle East has been set back by conflict and mistrust, causing untold destruction and thwarting the potential of generations of our best and brightest young people. Now, I'm convinced we have the opportunity to change that. Today's declaration was made possible by the vision, courage, and commitment of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, who, supported by <laughs> supported by the people of Bahrain, has protected, institutionalized and enhanced Bahrain's centuries-old spirit of coexistence and harmony, and has the wisdom to recognize that genuine cooperation is the most effective means to achieve peace and to safeguard legitimate rights. Thank you, Your Majesty, for this vision of peace for the region based on trust respect, and understanding between all faiths, races, and nations. To our brothers in the United Arab Emirates, I congratulate you on your own momentous peace accord being signed today with Israel. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed has shown great leadership and foresight to make peace possible and secure a brighter future for our region. For the State of Israel and Prime Minister Netanyahu, we welcome and appreciate these steps from you and your government, recognizing that enduring peace and security is only possible through a genuine engagement that protects the rights and interests of countries and peoples in the region. In particular, I want to express my deep appreciation to President Donald Trump. And his administration. Mr. President, your statesmanship and tireless efforts have brought us here today and made peace a reality. And to Secretary Pompeo, Senior Advisor Jared Kushner, and Special Representative Evi Brikovitz, who have, and others, many others, who have carried out their mandates with dedication and skill. Ladies and gentlemen, today's agreement is an important first step, and it is now incumbent on us to work urgently 
and actively to bring about the lasting peace and security our peoples deserve. A just, comprehensive, and enduring two-state solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict will be the foundation, the bedrock of such peace. We have shown today We have shown today that such a path is possible, even realistic. What was only dreamed of a few years ago is now achievable, and we can see before us a golden opportunity for peace, security, and prosperity for our region. Let us, together and with our international partners, waste no time in seizing it. Thank you.